some problems, but a mortgage ain't one. It, it's been a crazy week. Uh, it's been a busy couple of days. I was, uh, I was featured in news story again on, uh, boy, this is this time not about the van life. This time it was for my other business, which most of you know that I, I do. Um, and uh, I was featured in uh, Vice, uh, Vice Media from vice.com. And here's a story they did on me and the Wham Bam Babes. So I have been so busy with that. My email, uh, email inbox and my website and Facebook and the pages, pages I run for it have just been blowing up. So I've been dealing with all of that. Plus I've been doing some photo shoots for the team. So I've been pretty busy. And you notice, you notice that they, the headline there, Vancouver man. And, and when they put me in the news or they put me on the news story with the video for living in my van and then on their website, they use this headline, Vancouver man. I think I like that. Maybe I should just rename myself in the channel to Vancouver Man. Van Coover Man. Yeah, I like that. There's over two and a half million people in Metro Vancouver. But I am the Vancouver Man. <laughs> Package from Amazon. Yeah, I get here. Ah, GoPro. GoPro mount. This guy, um, the, the, the mount that comes with the GoPro, as most of you would know, is this guy here, which is a, a waterproof uh, mount, which seals. The problem with that is, is it blocks off most of the sound. So I almost never use the damn thing. I just have Velcro all over my GoPro and I just stick it on things and stick it on sticks and I have a holder, special holder for that and all. But um, I wanted something a little better than that, so I got one of the um, the frame GoPro mounts. It's not waterproof, but it um, will attach to all the GoPro accessories and not block the microphone or anything like that. It comes with a UV lens cover as well, so... Alright, so it's just a, a pretty simple... This only cost me, uh, I think it was $14 or something. So the GoPro will sit right in that. Hey. And uh, then I will have access as well to the uh, the USB uh, port on the camera so that I can use my external microphone. Uh, so that'll be a, a big help for sure. And uh, this is the um, UV lens uh, cap cover. So it will protect the lens even though it's uh, not in the fully enclosed waterproof case. So that's pretty nice. So I got that. I also got uh, 20 odd dollars. Two extra GoPro batteries because the GoPro batteries don't usually last as long as the memory card does that's for sure and a uh, secondary charger as well so I can always have a battery on the charger cool I know there's some other ones fancier ones where you can have multiple batteries all charging at once but that's a bit overkill for my needs um, having one extra battery always ready to go will be just fine and now I've got two extra batteries so that's fantastic and uh, look at these adapters here for what is that European <laughs> some weird plugs uh, don't need it it's 12 volt so um, there we go cigarette lighter plug right there in fact I'll just cut off cut that off and wire it in permanently somewhere on my wall in here so it's always there and it's always ready to go and it's always charging a battery pretty sweet I also got uh, a big roll of of white very thin plastic it's actually what similar to what we used for the wall in here um, which matches all the laminate in here all the white that Explorer put in and I like it because it's easy to clean it's easy to work with cut for shapes and everything but um, I got a I had to buy a friggin four by eight sheet of it because they wouldn't cut it in half and give me a, a better price, but we're gonna do that, uh, use that to uh, finish off the back where the air conditioning is and some other little projects too, like where the speakers need to be boxed in. Now, also, they just happened to have um, uh, some plexiglass there and they had mirror plexiglass, which is really cool because it's like a, it looks just like glass. It's perfectly straight mirror and it's unbreakable and lightweight and it's pretty, pricey normally but some customer they had ordered it cut into all these uh, small pieces and then didn't pick it up so they just wanted to get get rid of it so I got this for 75 cents each for these size ones 
Now, this is what they look like with the with the plastic cover on them, right? But they're it looks just like glass when you when you peel the uh, plastic off. It looks just like any other mirror. Hey, how's it going? So uh, I'll have some I have some places, some ideas. I want to put these in here in a small space like this. It's nice to have mirrors, and it makes it it makes it feel larger. So I bought a whole bunch of them because they're only 75 cents. I didn't even buy them all. They still had about 20 more there, and then uh, 75 cents for a whole handful of smaller ones too. So I, I could, I don't know, I could put them on all the cabinets. I mean, there's all sorts of places I could put it. Um, haven't figured it out yet. Definitely above the bed, of course. And one of the other things too that I forgot to go over with my uh, video a few videos ago where I was explaining why I did things the way I did things in here. One of the things too is the, the fireplace enclosure. Some people thought it thought I could have brought it down a bit farther. Well, there's a couple um, uh, things there's reasons for this, okay? First of all, it is coming down only about an inch farther for this handle, which I have, this aluminum handle, which is going to be right about there, sticking out a bit, and um, it'll be on a bracket attached to there, obviously, and it's going to be a place to hang things. Quite often, I'll hang something there to dry in the winter, and before I was using bungee cords or whatever, so it'll be nice to have something there, but I want to make sure it's not too far down, no more than about an inch, because... This is a fantastic place to set your cup of tea or coffee and it keeps it warm. And I want to make sure it's got room for a cup to go in on each side. It's really nice. So it's all installed onto one of my mounts. I'll show you guys, actually I'll just go to the bathroom mirror and show you. There you go. Nice little mount. Good for getting a little bit higher up. You want to see my junk cabinet? This cabinet right here is all my tapes, glues, measuring tapes, screws, nuts, bolts, LED lights that are so far unused. Oh my god, I got a lot of stuff. Speaker wire. <laughs> but yeah, just little things to make a to make a big difference. Actually, this is good because I, I can actually clamp this holder to cabinets. I can clamp it to the outside of the vehicle. I can do all sorts of stuff with this. I didn't want a um, what do you mean, gimbal or what do they call them, those sta stabilizers or type ones because I want a lot of easy up and down shots and stuff. Um, I just wanted something to extend the reach of it really, so that works perfect. And uh, I can pop in the microphone. And... and now with the microphone attached. Yep, it's going to work good. Oh shit, right when I hit record. Uh, I'm just about to start doing a video, my buddy shows up, and my text message goes off. And <laughs> Hang on, I gotta unhook my microphone. Okay, we'll try that again. Damn you, line screw. Literally, the second that I went and set it up and I pressed record, your text messages started flying in on the phone. I kept responding and you kept sending them back, you attention whore. But it's all good. It's for a good cause. We're uh, we're uh, gonna meet up at uh, Peace Arch Park where we're, we might be putting together this little um, RV con that I talked about a couple months back uh, later on this year. So we're gonna go and scout out the location, and we have a special surprise for all of you too uh, while we're at that park. So stay tuned for that. Next uh, should be next weekend. I'm tangled up in my microphone cord. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I don't want the bright lights on, so I turn them off. And uh, one other thing I just wanted to, this is kind of just a, this, this video makes no sense at all, I know that, but it's just random crap. Um, a lot of people have been responding, or sorry, uh, asking specific questions once again. Now, I know I've said this before, so those of you who have heard this from me already four or five times, bear with me. This is for the new people that have uh, subscribed to me, and they're asking me very specific questions and want me to answer them, but they don't have their YouTube replies turned on. Please go to your YouTube settings and turn on your replies. If you don't know how to do it, use Google. It will teach you how to do it. Freedom is sexy. Justincredible.tv Stick up for freedom. Get your Keep on Rockin' in the Free World sticker now at Justincredible.net